Have you ever pondered over the ice-covered wilderness at the bottom of our world, Antarctica? A place that feels so alien yet is a part of our home planet, brimming with extreme conditions, profound isolation, and most intriguingly, secrets. As we dive into this icy expanse, we find that Antarctica holds a captivating allure. This is the coldest, windiest, and driest continent on Earth. Here, it's not uncommon to witness snowstorms that can last for weeks, winds that reach speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, and temperatures that plunge to an unimaginable minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The inhospitable environment makes it one of the least explored places on our planet. Yet the most fascinating part is, Antarctica wasn't always this icy wonderland. Picture lush forests, warm environments, and a rich array of life forms, from towering dinosaurs to a diversity of plant species. That was Antarctica millions of years ago during the late Cretaceous period. But the transition from this paradise to the frozen desert we see today remains one of the greatest climatic mysteries. What brought about this drastic shift? Well, scientists believe that the movement of tectonic plates isolated Antarctica from other continents, leading to a circular ocean current that trapped cold water around it. But the full story of Antarctica's icy transformation is still being unraveled, layer by layer, much like the ice cores that scientists dig up to study past climates. In this vast expanse of ice and mystery, every discovery only seems to unearth more questions Antarctica, the last frontier on Earth, has been a stage for some of the most intriguing and unexplained disappearances in human history. While some may attribute these to the harsh and unpredictable nature of the icy wilderness, others find a deeper mystery wrapped in the cold white sheets of the Antarctic. One such story is of the British polar explorer Belgrave Ninnis. During the 1911 Australasian Antarctic expedition led by Douglas Mawson Ninnis along with Mawson and Xavier Mertz, embarked on a journey to chart the icy wilderness. However, in a cruel twist of fate, Ninnis plunged into a hidden crevasse along with the expedition's best dogs and most of their supplies. His body was never recovered, and his loss greatly impacted the expedition and particularly Mawson, who barely survived the ordeal. A more modern mystery is the case of Carl Disch, an American scientist stationed at the Bird Station in 1965 one day, Dish walked out of the station for a routine task and never returned. Despite extensive search efforts in the severe conditions, no trace of him was ever found. To this day, his disappearance remains one of the unsolved mysteries of Antarctica. Another strange disappearance occurred in 1947, involving the infamous Operation High Jump led by Admiral Richard Byrd. The operation ended prematurely and several crew members unexpectedly lost their lives. Official records attribute these losses to harsh weather and aircraft crashes, but conspiracy theories suggest something more nefarious, involving secret Nazi bases and even UFOs. Living in Antarctica is a risky endeavor with its unforgiving weather and isolation. Each disappearance underscores not only the personal tragedies of those lost, but also the sheer power and mystery of this final frontier. Even with our modern technology and understanding, Antarctica continues to guard its secrets closely. In a region dominated by snow and ice, any structure that deviates from this frozen landscape captures immediate attention. Satellite images from 2012 unveiled a potential anomaly in Antarctica's icy expanse, a structure bearing an uncanny resemblance to a pyramid. The pyramid-like formation covered in snow sparked a flurry of speculation and discussion. The formation is perfectly shaped, suggesting artificial construction rather than natural formation. For some, this is evidence of a lost civilization that once thrived in Antarctica when it was a much warmer place. Ancient astronaut theorists propose that these pyramids were constructed by extraterrestrial beings that visited Earth thousands of years ago. But mainstream scientists offer a more down-to-Earth explanation. They believe that the so-called pyramids are merely nunataks peaks of rock that protrude through ice or snow. Nunataks are common in heavily glaciated areas and can appear pyramid-like, particularly when eroded by wind and frost. Yet the exact origin of these structures remains unknown. Exploring these regions is an incredibly challenging task due to Antarctica's unforgiving climate and remote location. Until a thorough investigation can be made, the origins of the Antarctic pyramids will remain a mystery, nestled within the frozen extremes of our planet. 
Another interesting theory linked to the pyramids of Antarctica is the existence of an ancient advanced civilization under the ice. Based on ancient texts and maps, like the Piri Reis map that accurately depicts Antarctica without ice, some argue that a civilization advanced enough to build pyramids once flourished there. However, most scientists dismiss this theory, suggesting that the map interpretations are incorrect and that the pyramid-like structures are natural formations. The Antarctic Pyramid's mystery continues to fascinate and stir curiosity, with every theory providing a new perspective on our understanding of Earth's history. The unforgiving and inaccessible nature of Antarctica adds to this intrigue, making it a place of eternal fascination. In the realm of Antarctic mysteries, few are as intriguing or enshrouded in controversy as Operation High Jump. Led by Rear Admiral Richard E. Byrd of the United States Navy in 1946-47, this expedition to Antarctica was officially described as a scientific endeavor aimed at exploring the continent and establishing a research base, Little America before. But let's think about this. Operation High Jump was at the time the largest Antarctic expedition ever undertaken, with a task force of over 4,700 men, 13 ships and numerous aircraft, this scientific mission was armed to the teeth. The sheer scale of the operation has raised questions about its true purpose. Was it just scientific curiosity? Or was there something more to this journey to the bottom of the world? Here's where it gets even weirder. According to some reports, Admiral Byrd warned about enemy fighters that can fly from pole to pole with incredible speed upon his return. This unusual statement stirred numerous theories, including encounters with unknown advanced technology or even extraterrestrial forces. Conspiracy theories abound, ranging from a secret mission to destroy a hidden Nazi base in Antarctica to a search for the entrance to a suspected hollow Earth. Some even suggest that Operation High Jump was a cover-up for a secret nuclear weapons testing program. The official report by the US Navy states that the expedition was terminated due to early ice formation and personnel safety. However, given the premature end to the expedition, just weeks into what was supposed to be a six-month mission, the abrupt conclusion has added to the layers of intrigue surrounding Operation High Jump. While most scientists and historians stick to the official narrative of a scientific expedition encountering unforeseen challenges, others continue to speculate on what truly occurred during Operation High Jump. Despite the wealth of theories, the full details of what transpired during this mysterious mission remain locked beneath the ice of official secrecy and speculative conjecture. Just like the pyramids and disappearances, Operation High Jump adds yet another piece to the intricate puzzle of Antarctica's mysteries. Let's delve into Antarctica's many mysteries. Ever heard of Lake Vostok? It's the largest of more than 400 known subglacial lakes in Antarctica. Hidden under more than two miles of ice, Lake Vostok is about the size of Lake Ontario and has been sealed off from the world for up to 25 million years. What might be lurking in its depths? In 2012, Russian scientists finally reached the lake after more than two decades of drilling. The samples they obtained revealed the presence of an astonishing variety of life forms, many of which couldn't be matched to known species. Could these be ancient organisms trapped in time and evolved in isolation? Or might they hint at the types of life forms that could exist in similar extreme environments, say the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn? This alien world beneath the ice has opened up new possibilities for astrobiology, the study of life's potential beyond Earth. Another unsolved Antarctic mystery involves the Piri Reis map. This map, drawn in 1513 by the Ottoman Admiral Piri Reis, shows the Atlantic coast of Europe, Africa and the Americas in remarkable detail for its time. But its depiction of Antarctica is the most controversial part. The map seems to show the subglacial topography of Queen Maud Land in Antarctica, a feature unknown until the advent of modern seismic surveying. How could this knowledge appear on a map drawn more than 500 years ago? Despite numerous theories, the mystery remains. Lastly, there's the haunting story of the Endurance, a ship led by explorer Ernest Shackleton in an ill-fated 1914 attempt to cross Antarctica. The ship was trapped and eventually crushed by sea ice forcing the crew to embark on a perilous journey to safety. Remarkably, all of them survived, but the wreck of the Endurance has never been found. In the silent white wilderness of Antarctica, 
Countless stories are waiting to be discovered and understood. For every question we answer, it seems a new one appears like a fractal pattern in the snow, reminding us of the beauty of exploration and the thrill of the unknown. So there you have it, Antarctica, a land that seems to hold more questions than answers. Its icy expanse has been a stage for enigmatic tales of mysterious structures, inexplicable disappearances, and Operation High Jump's elusive motives. Each mystery, a thread in the tapestry of human curiosity. But as we attempt to unravel these mysteries, we must remember that it's the pursuit of the unknown that drives us forward. This is the essence of human curiosity. It's not about finding all the answers. It's about the thrill of the quest and the questions that keep us searching. And as always, thanks for watching. Picture this. A ship embarks on a voyage across vast, uncharted waters carrying precious cargo. It's a story that has been told countless times throughout human history. But what happens when these journeys go awry, when the unexpected storm hits or the navigator loses his way? In today's exploration, we're diving deep into the mysteries of the ocean as we uncover the tales of five ancient shipwrecks. From lost treasures to ghostly apparitions and archaeological wonders, these sunken vessels hold secrets of the past that continue to fascinate us. Let's set sail on this maritime adventure. In the deep waters off the southern coast of Turkey lies the Uluburan shipwreck, a time capsule from the late Bronze Age that has been resting on the seafloor for over 3,300 years. Discovered in the early 1980s by a local sponge diver, the ship has been dated back to the 14th century BC, making it one of the oldest known shipwrecks. The ship was laden with a cargo that has provided an invaluable snapshot into the international trade of the era. Divers recovered over 10 tons of raw copper, tin ingots, the components of bronze, and a golden seal bearing the name of Egyptian Queen Nefertiti, providing hard evidence of a direct trade link between the Mycenaeans in Greece and the New Kingdom of Egypt. In addition, archaeologists found ivory hailing from both Africa and the Syrian elephant, amber from the Baltic, and a unique collection of glass beads traced back to Egypt and Mesopotamia. This suggests that the ship had traversed the length and breadth of the eastern Mediterranean before it sank. Also among the cargo were luxury items like ebony ostrich eggshells, a scarab gem and a trumpet, indicating the high status of the intended recipients. Perhaps one of the most intriguing items found was a collection of the earliest known written tablets, hinting at a literate crew or owner. Picture this, a crisp autumn night, a glowing three-mast schooner sailing silently through the foggy waters of the Northumberland Strait. Between Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick in Canada, this isn't just any schooner, but a spectral vessel that has become the stuff of legend, the burning ghost ship of the Northumberland Strait. Numerous accounts dating back to the 18th century tell of a ship appearing ablaze on the water, its ghostly crew scrambling to douse the flames. Despite the apparent inferno, the ship never seems to burn down, and it always disappears without a trace. Some theories suggest the ghost ship is a mirage, an optical phenomenon caused by temperature inversions. Others, however, believe it to be the spectral remnant of a real ship that met a fiery end. One popular theory is that the apparition is the spectre of a French ship that was set ablaze during the expulsion of the Acadians, a tragic event that took place in the mid-18th century. However, no concrete historical event or shipwreck has been definitively linked to the ghost ship sightings. While the ghost ship of the Northumberland Strait may not have yielded physical treasure, it is undoubtedly a cultural and historical treasure. It has captivated generations, inspired folk songs, and continues to be a draw for ghost hunters and maritime history enthusiasts alike. The mystery of its origin and the ethereal nature of its existence make it a fascinating chapter in the annals of seafaring lore. Now, let's venture into the azure waters of the Mediterranean, to the island of Antikythera, between mainland Greece and Crete. This is the site of one of the most remarkable shipwrecks ever discovered, the Antikythera shipwreck. First discovered in 1900 by sponge divers, the ship is believed to have been a massive Greek cargo ship that sank sometime between 60 and 70 BCE. Laden with luxury goods, including marble and bronze statues, jewelry, furniture and glassware, it was a veritable floating treasure trove. But the real treasure, the one that would rewrite our understanding of ancient technology, was a peculiar artifact known as the Antikythera mechanism. This intricate device made of interlocking gears and dials 
is often described as the world's first analog computer. It was used to predict celestial events, including eclipses, as well as the positions of the planets. The complexity and precision of the Antikythera mechanism wouldn't be seen again for over a thousand years, challenging our conceptions of technological progress. The Antikythera shipwreck remains an active archaeological site, with new discoveries made as recently as 2017. This ancient sunken ship offers a tangible connection to the past and provides us with priceless insights into the sophistication of ancient Greek technology and culture. The Antikythera mechanism itself is a testament to the ingenuity of the human mind, a treasure far more valuable than gold. We now turn our attention to the high seas of the Atlantic and a ship that played an integral part in one of history's most significant voyages, the Santa Maria, the flagship of Christopher Columbus on his first journey to the New World. Built in the late 15th century, the Santa Maria was a modest-sized NAU or ship, common during the Age of Discovery. On Christmas Eve of 1492, just months after Columbus and his crew sighted land in the New World, the Santa Maria ran aground off the coast of present-day Haiti. The ship was too damaged to be repaired and was left to the mercy of the sea. However, the shipwreck was not the end of the Santa Maria story. Using salvaged materials from the ship, Columbus ordered the construction of a fort, La Navidad, the first European settlement in the Americas. In a way, the Santa Maria lived on, becoming part of the very world it helped discover. Despite many attempts, the wreck of the Santa Maria has never been definitively located. Some believe it was dismantled by looters, while others argue that it may still lie undiscovered on the ocean floor. The search for the Santa Maria continues, its elusive remains a tantalizing target for treasure hunters and historians alike. A symbol of a turning point in world history, the Santa Maria and its potential discovery are treasures that would rewrite the history books. High in the Andes Mountains of South America, at an elevation of over 12,500 feet, 3,800 meters, lies Lake Titicaca, a massive body of water that straddles the border between Bolivia and Peru. This mystical lake, steeped in legends and folklore, has been the focus of numerous archaeological expeditions that have led to the discovery of fascinating underwater treasures. In recent years, researchers have been drawn to the lake due to reports of submerged ships and artifacts. Archaeologists and divers have been exploring the depths of Lake Titicaca, uncovering a series of shipwrecks and ancient relics dating back to pre-Columbian times. The most intriguing finds include a submerged temple, terraced fields, and a long-lost road, which allude to the advanced engineering and agricultural techniques of the ancient inhabitants of the region. The Titicaca shipwrecks themselves have also provided valuable information about the maritime technology of the time. The remains of reed boats and other watercraft suggest that the people of the area were skilled navigators who used the lake for trade, communication and cultural exchange. Some of these shipwrecks may even hold treasures, ritual offerings or valuable goods that were lost during their journeys across the lake. The exploration of the Titicaca shipwrecks is ongoing and each new discovery adds another piece to the puzzle of the ancient civilizations that once thrived around this enigmatic lake. As archaeologists continue to unveil the secrets of Lake Titicaca, we gain a deeper understanding of the people who once navigated its waters and the treasures that may still lie hidden beneath the surface. The Vasa is one of the most famous shipwrecks in the world, not because of the treasures it held, but due to the invaluable insights it provides into the naval architecture and maritime warfare of the 17th century. This Swedish warship was intended to be a symbol of Sweden's naval prowess but instead became a symbol of failure and humiliation. The Vasa set sail on her maiden voyage on August 10, 1628 in Stockholm, but disaster struck immediately. Within a mile of her departure, a gust of wind caused the top heavy ship to tilt, water entered through the open gun ports, and the Vasa sank in front of a horrified crowd of onlookers. The ship rested in the cold, brackish waters of Stockholm's harbour for over 330 years its location known but its retrieval seen as impossible. However, in 1961, the Vasa was finally salvaged in an operation that sparked worldwide interest. The cold, low salinity conditions of the Baltic Sea had preserved the Vasa exceptionally well, with even the intricate wooden carvings and painted surfaces remaining largely intact. Today, the Vasa is housed in a specially built museum in Stockholm, where it provides an unparalleled glimpse into the past. 
While the Vasa didn't carry gold or jewels, it held a different kind of treasure knowledge. The ship and its contents, including thousands of artifacts and even the remains of the crew and their personal possessions, provide a time capsule of life in the early 17th century. Each object, from the cannons and rigging to the clothing and utensils, contributes to our understanding of the era's naval warfare, social conditions, and everyday life. The story of the Vasa reminds us that sometimes the real treasure is not gold or gems, but the stories and lessons we glean from history. We've journeyed through time and across the globe, diving into the depths of history and the ocean to discover the captivating stories behind these shipwrecks. Each ship, each voyage, tells a unique tale of human ambition, innovation and often unexpected disaster. But in their underwater tombs, they've preserved snapshots of our past, treasures that surpass material wealth. They remind us that the real treasure isn't always gold or gems, but the stories and lessons we glean from history. So the next time you gaze across the ocean, remember the tales it holds beneath its waves. Until next time, keep exploring. And as always, thanks for watching.